What's going on, my fro force? You're Joe Poke Me Poke, and we're back for another part of Let's Play Bravely Second Blind. But I could hardly understand the words that she was using, let alone that eardrum piercing voice of hers. Ha! Ah. It was all quite beyond my understanding. She seems to have a quite a singular way of expressing herself. Mostly singing, right? Since I couldn't ascertain exactly what she wanted, I've been avoiding giving any sort of response. While I was pondering a course of action, I was accosted by a rather large gentleman, Captain Barbarossa. I mean, I think oh god, this is Oh no. Wait, I didn't go I didn't go with Kamizumi. So it's actually good it's kind of a good decision, so I don't really have to side with Barbarossa because I don't necessarily need his skill set without the um without the free lunch ability from the Swordmaster class. So, I think I can safely go with Praline's skill set, and I might be able to work out something like a singer healer instead of maybe the sealer singer support or a healer support. That could be interesting. He tried to tell me something in that rough, ear shattering voice of his, but his words were as unintelligible to me as Miss Alamode's. The best I could gather was that they each had some designs on my grandfather's last song. But you have no idea what they want to do with it. That's why you were following Idia? Yes, it was by complete coincidence that I came upon you today, but I thought if anyone could help me, it would be you. Or Master Kamizumi. <sighs> They're my master's subordinates. And my master's problems are my problems. I guess I have no choice. I'll go see what they have to say. Where are they now? Miss Praline should be rehearsing at Florum Square Garden uh, in the upper part of the city. As for Barbarossa... Hmm, you don't know where to find him? Okay, we'll track him down and meet you back here. Probably at the ghost ship. As a matter of fact, I'm planning a trip to the Witherwood, north of the city, in search of inspiration for my latest masterpiece. Once you've figured out what those two want, come find me there. Alright, we will. But... Don't get your hopes up. Hmm. As far as I can tell, this really isn't a big, uh... I I'll have to wait till I hear what they have to say, but this isn't a big issue here. Now, what is a big issue is... Man, we have a lot of the uh, Ask Agnes on archives to catch up on. So, I don't... I think I've actually got all of this, but we're just gonna go through it anyway. So, Harana Starlings, I had no idea Tiz knew so much about birds. You, on the other hand, has always been a walking encyclopedia. Anyhow, now it, now it is back to Gethaladio to find a ship to set, set, sail the seas. I never imagined that the Master Kamizumi would come to our rescue. The official ceremony between the Orthodoxy and the Duchy may have been cut short, but it hardly matters. When you see former enemies working together towards a worthy cause like this, it seems as though we have already found the peace we, that we sought. The situation has changed quite dramatically since our ceremony was aborted. Ab yeah, aborted. Oh, alright, this is a choice word. Okay, but I guess it works. Warfare in Eternia once again? Could the Kaiser's forces be track attacking other nations as well? I fear that the battles you are about to face will only grow more perilous, as my friends. Rest well this night so that you can face what is to come on the morrow. I had another friend who was dedicated to his journal. He wrote down every last thing that happened to him. I tried to emulate him and keep a journal of my own, but all I ever seemed to fill the pages were with, were with directions to various locations. Eventually, I just gave up. However, I did go back to look through my old entries, and I was, and it was like I was reliving those same moments. Perhaps because I was lost on the very same roads again. Oh, poor Agnes. Uh, please take care of on your voyage. Many former monsters take to the seas near Eternia. Fortunately, monsters with with uh, monsters which live in the water tend to be weak to lightning-based attacks. Prepare offensive items and magical attacks as well. It may not be such a harsh voyage for you after all. Though this vessel you sail in worries me more than any monster. I appreciate your concern, of course, but surely Master Kamizumi's wound is more urgent than talking with me. Please, hurry to him him to a healer. Ah, this is when we were getting him to uh, Al Campus for healing. 
Isle Campus, home to the greatest ma magic academy in the realm, and its most gifted scholars. A place where young people to compete, collide, study, and thrive. It seems like a lovely a idea. <laughs> Saying young people makes me feel like such an adult. Actually, I think I'm going to come back to this because this seems very eerie just reading this in silence. I'm going to get, get some floor and background music here. Thank you. Oh, not this one. And we were on chapter one with Al Campus. Al Campus, home to the greatest magic academy in the realm, most gifted scholars. I think I just read this. Yeah, I did. So you once studied in Al Campus as well. When I was younger, I enjoyed studying myself, though not not all fields, of course. I found it quite easy to remember anything to do with crystallism. Yet numbers and science they sparked conflict within within me, for I never could see what good they were to- Oh, come on! Yet when I ventured out into the world myself and journeyed with my friends, I found that those useless subjects were actually vital to me, and for the first time I felt such gratitude for my tutors. When I told Adia the same tale, she grew quite cross with me. Ha! A school should be a sacred place of learning, unsullied by the vulgarities of the world, yet even Yet even here, pedigree rules. Are humans doomed to forever judge one another based on the appearance of, or social standing? At the same time, perhaps the wealthy and the beautiful also feel trapped by the high status afforded to them. You, if you ever feel troubled about your position, please tell us. Hmm. Friends to the Chomp. Friends to the Chomp? Whatever could that mean? Perhaps it was just a dream? What's that? You say they recruited you to make plush monsters? I must join you. We, You must let me. No, we're not going to do that. Have you noticed anything unusual about the monsters you've been battling? That's correct. Even among the same type of monster, you may find specimens of varying sizes. As the ancient wisdom of the orthodoxy teaches us, bigger is better. The larger the foe, the greater their HP and other stats may be. Well, or take care when facing them. Huh. <laughs> when I've got my grinding method, there are nothing. Which is pretty much just rejuvenation and then a good measure double cast of a of a uh, summon. The ball. What are they really? Living beings such as you and I, or something else entirely? Oh, you. What was that? What was put? Uh, what has put that gleam in your eye? Oh, you never met a creature such as that one before? Ha! <laughs> you, you and Rifa are two of a kind. All, are all scholars more than just curiosity made manifest? What sort of things have you been writing in your journal? Oh no, please don't tell me. I'm looking forward to the day when you'll let me read it. You fashioned an umbrella from the skin of the ball? My word, I had no idea you could be so unpredictable, you. I don't know whether to call it fearless or perhaps reckless. Out of control? Mad beyond reason? Oh, don't get me wrong. I meant that as a compliment. All of it. Really? You say you meant to analyze it better... To be analyze it to better understand your foe. I see. So how did you- why did you make an umbrella? What? Uh, forgive me. I seem to have gotten some sand in my eye. Uh, ouch. Now why would there be sand around here? Why would there be sand? What? At what point did in the story would that have been applicable? Anyway. Oh dear. What a frightful sandstorm. I can't see a thing outside. Oh, okay. Got it. I hope that the people of Anchime are alright. These storms are no laughing matter, as I well know. Uh, the curtain of night falls, and all manner of things, all manner of things are hidden from sight. The truth of a man's heart, or his actions. I recall a night when I once snuck into Anne Chimes' pal palace. Yeah, palace under the veil of night. What I discovered there was the ugliness which hid within them one man's heart. Ah, forgive me. I'm sure that you. Your own adventures will end with a much more encouraging result. Oh, that was the thing with the the time mage. So the Kaiser Oblivion seeks the compass of space and time. I do not know which of I do not know much of this relic, but I have no doubt that the consequences were he to seize control of it would be dire. Alright. Kaiser seems to be plotting something most terrible with that compass. 
Please, you must stop it, Jan. You, you must stop Jan. The fencer's job specialty is muscle memory, which allows fencers to maintain the effects of a stance even after changing to another. By constantly shifting stances, the fencer maintains a strong position in battle and gains an advantage over his foes. What was that snap sound I just heard? Alright, I'm just going to assume it was nothing. Uh, magical attacks can be effective against tough opponents who boast high physical defense. Yet even magical attacks can be absorbed by a target if the target has an affinity for that particular class or element. But do not despair. Even opponents who can absorb certain elements are bound to have other weaknesses. Use the examine ability or magnifying glass. Yep, I got plenty of magnifying glasses. It's too early to give up. Why don't you try different elemental attacks? Seize your coup de gravy. Uh huh. Uh, this is no time to ask for more. Uh, this is no time to ask for more advice from me. You must hurry. Oh, pff, come on. By the way, I'm in chapter three, right? So no, I'm in chapter four. Hold on. Let me check my save thing. Because if, if I'm in chapter 4, I can just... If I'm in, still in chapter 3, I can just wait to read those other parts. I'm in... It doesn't say what chapter I'm in. Where can I see that information, I wonder? Okay, we've got these two. Am I in Chapter 3 or in Chapter 4? Hold on. Ah, the Sajita. So I'm in Chapter 3. Okay, so we'll just go through Chapter 2 and we'll cover Chapter 3 when we get to Chapter 4. Just so we can just um, finish Chapter then go through it. <coughs> ah, pardon me, but I had my window closed, but it seems that some ash still managed to get in. While living at the Temple of Wind, I learned that a wonderful tip for when your throat is itchy. Wrap a leak around your neck. What? What? An old wives' tale? You mean it's not effective? I don't imagine it would be. I actually got a leak from Sir Nikolai when we were being exposed to that sandstorm in Anchime. So that is why he had an assumed, amused expression on his face. Oh, how embarrassing. Well, I guess uh, Nikolai is still taking care of her. Whoever could this mysterious person be? Oh, how silly of me. Obviously, if you knew he would if you knew who he was, uh he would not be all that mysterious now, would he? For now, let's give him the benefit of the doubt and heed his advice. If that turns out to be the wrong decision, why you can always choose another path. Little do we know he would actually give us a boat later. I do appreciate your concern about my well being, but please direct it instead towards the well being of that poor girl who was who has collapsed. Ah, uh, Kyoko. You will take Miss Yoko to Yunahana, yes? Yunahana, the land of the hot springs. I thought there had been, I had traveled the entire world, but it seems there are still lands I never knew of. The world is what you see of it, so says crystallism. The, broad, the broader your perspective, the better your understanding. I do so very much appreciate your concern about my well-being, but I am more concerned about the Commander Goodman's wound. Please get him to aid at once. Why do I see a pattern here? I do appreciate your... I do so very much appreciate your... Alright. Hearthsfest? I had no idea there was such a festival in Hearthschild. The last time we were we visited Hearthschild, it was still embroiled in a terrible civil war. Eisenberg had divided into two factions, and violence had overrun the country. Compared to then, this town seems so lively and full of light that it's that it is nearly blinding. It is true that Hearth's child... Is this the true Hearth's child, or perhaps... Perhaps what? Either way, it is very exciting. Let's hurry to see what there is to see. The townspeople have been disappearing? How very odd. If only there were an ability that allowed you to locate missing people. Well, at least the freelancer's divining rod ability can be used in a town like this. Can it? If we can't find lost people, let's at least find lost treasure. Oh, come on! You're gonna steal their stuff? Why? Have you sometimes felt that your that your battles against the Imperial forces or local monsters were too hard? If you're having a difficult if you're having difficulty in battles, please think carefully before uh, think carefully about how you combine the abilities that you have access to. For example, you might combine a bishop's good measure with a wizard's spellcraft. Yeah. 
A bit of magic strengthened by good measure becomes even more powerful when augmented with spellcraft. I hope you try combining your abilities in such fruitful ways. Hey, we got spellcraft and good measure. We've got um, triple wield and dual wield. We're good. Yes, magic, magic strengthened by good measure becomes even more powerful when you augmented by... Oh, you got it the first time? Yeah. It, it seemed important, so I thought I would just say it twice for good measure. I'm sorry. God dang it! Was Nikolai in the room when you were talking about that? Don Zerbo, Don's, Don Zaburo's, there we go. Skill with a blade is most impressive to be able to cut through a flying bullet. We mustn't let his bravery go to waste. Hurry at once to intercept that Amy. Well, like, to be fair, it wasn't actually skill. It was more of an illusion. I do appreciate your concern for my well-being. But right now, I fear that Miss Yoko's wounds are far more serious. Please get to... Yeah, yeah, there's a pattern. I feel like I've been repeating this. <laughs> the game is self-aware! Pardon? You wish to know what I'm doing just now? Naturally, I'm covering my eyes. You and Tiz are... are Disrobe for the... <laughs> what? You think that I should steal a glance at them? It is simply unacceptable to peek at unsuspecting bathers. Eco, please, won't you hurry and get yourselves to the bath? <laughs> uh, the Sword of the Brave. I don't believe I've ever heard of such a thing myself, but you, you know of it? Oh, no, don't feel bad. Everyone ha every one of us has a few things in our past we would rather not speak of. Yet I must also point out that many a war could have been ended if only people would talk openly with one another. Please do not be afraid. The world is more sympathetic than you might imagine. Aw. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, please do excuse me. I was a million miles away. It must be the heat. I feel as though the heat from the volcano is roasting me from below. If it carries on much longer like this, I fear I may turn into the into a... A probe brulee. What? My, I wonder if only my face feels... Oh, why my fi Why only my face... Because you're embarrassed because it was a bad pun! The scenery in Unohana is so overwhelmingly eccentric, or I suppose really it is more than just simply foreign? Unohana is a port town after all. Oh, perhaps we might find a boat in Unohana. And there's the boat part. What terrible luck to be attacked right after a meal. I suppose there's no guarantee that such battles will not erupt again, even within the streets of the city. Wouldn't you say? Wouldn't you... What? The bathhouse set, has set sail? Everything seems to move here in Luxendark. Yeah, pretty much everything. I hope you understand the gravity of this situation. You must transport the healing waters to the heart's child by a boat. You mustn't resort to any odd tricks or shortcuts. You know perfectly well what I speak of. That's right, I know about you and the... Pigs? What? I never thought I would have to say that sentence. I know about you and the pigs. What could she be referring to there? I honestly don't remember. If it is the Imperial Force if it is the Imperial Forces behind the disappearance of the Hearthschild town folk, then I imagine you will come to blows with them sooner th sooner than later. Be on your guard. Oh, I wish I saw that that message before. The people of Hearthschild have been recovered, unharmed. Congratulations, you. And it looks as though your new boat will be able to transport you to all over Florum. Or all, all, ah. Transport you all to Florum. The rub -a dub It's quite the name, you. You want to know if I like it? Oh, well, of course. It's so, well, it's so very, so very you, you. Ah, she was being polite. All right, so we finally got that out of the way. Uh, let's go ahead and finish up this episode with at least figuring out the conversation for one side. I think we were supposed to go talk to Pr there's Praline and then there's Barbarossa. Praline should be up here, but Barbarossa we gotta find, which I'm assuming he's gonna be out somewhere. Where would he be? What's this all about? You can't just interrupt a rehearsal like that. We were on fire. Well, then I'm glad I interrupted you to put you out. Praline Alamode. 
diva of the battlefield and holder of the performer asterisk. This former member of the Black Blades went into early retirement after being booted off stage by Idia and her friends. Now ah. she's making a comeback. And judging by her quick return to the top of the charts, her airhead act may just be for show. By what really? strange trick of fate do your paths cross anew? Are you sure it's not your pants that are on fire? You sure came running over real quick when you spotted us. Th that's just because I was surprised to see such a nostalgic face from my past. Sure you were. We're here today on behalf of Rocka Peller. You're not doing all this to get back at us for what happened at Eisen Bridge, are you? Oh, you're here about the grand ship! That must mean that Rockefeller finally agreed to let me use my arrangement! Yay! Braley wins again! What the fuck is this background music? Your arrangement? What are you talking about? What the fuck is this? And I am gonna get so copyright stricken. So, I'm gonna end this now before anything happens. Hope you all enjoyed. If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you all next time. Bye!